The Northern Territory government is being urged to reverse its decision to allow alcohol back into Aboriginal communities. Community leaders in Alice Springs say there's been a steep rise in alcohol sales and domestic violence since the bans were lifted earlier this month. The Northern Territory Government signed a local decision-making agreement with Aboriginal people from the Nayu community. Aboriginal people have been making decisions about their lives for thousands of years. But the Government's policy to allow Aboriginal communities to make their own decisions about alcohol is facing criticism. What you did a week ago was open the floodgates to grog without a plan, without consultation, without anything. In 2007, the Howard government introduced the Northern Territory Intervention, which banned alcohol in more than 400 Aboriginal communities, outstations and town camps. The legislation was renamed Stronger Futures and continued under subsequent federal governments. When that legislation expired on July 17, the Northern Territory government let communities decide for themselves if they wanted grog to return. Our Territory Labor government made the very firm and open decision that we are not going to continue any mechanisms under the intervention. Community leaders say the decision has had drastic consequences, particularly around Alice Springs. One of the bottle shops in town had a 300% increase of sales the very first day. At this location, there was no police. Um, it was absolute chaos. I call upon Australians to take notice of what's happening here. This is uh, a national crisis. The Northern Territory Government says the alcohol bans were a race-based policy and that Aboriginal people should have the right to decide what happens on their land. Where I live, I can choose if I have alcohol in my house or not, but a few streets away, because it is a community living area, purely based on that, they cannot have alcohol. Federal Minister Linda Burney has sought a meeting with the Northern Territory Chief Minister as calls grow for the Commonwealth to intervene. If you suddenly open the floodgates of grog to more than 7,000 people across the Northern Territory that haven't had access to the grog for 15 years, you will see domestic violence and family violence, child abuse and neglect like you have never seen before. Independent MLA Robin Lambley will try to have the government's decision overturned in Parliament on Wednesday. Matt Cunningham, Sky News, Darwin.